so we're here with Don Jones, who's a VP at Qualcomm Life, and uh, we're talking about what the company is doing in uh, medical technology. Yeah, Qualcomm Life is actually Qualcomm's new, uh, new company to, in uh, wireless health, and we're really working with medical device companies to get the data from those devices moving. Oh, so you're the plumbing, you're, not the, you're obviously not making We're not making yeah. medical devices, but, but we some, are making demo devices. medical devices yeah. connected to the world so yeah. that the information can be used by folks used by healthcare professionals. That's what's really key. What are the components and how do they play together? We have two components in the TuneNet system at this point. One is a hub, and this is actually used to get information from medical devices you would have in a room mm -hmm. and get that information from those devices up to the cloud. It's got cellular radios for what we would call the backhaul, getting to the internet. Right. And then it's got local area radios in the form of Bluetooth, Bluetooth low energy, um, Wi-Fi, and Ant Plus. So four local area radios that can be used. And then it also has a USB plug on the corner. So if you need to, you can plug directly into this. The goal for our Tunet platform is to have literally hundreds, if not eventually thousands of devices that will connect into the Tunet cloud platform. Show me how and where I would use this. So I'm gonna start with just a couple of uh, devices and just show you how simple it is. The first one I'm gonna go is to a Nonin pulse oximeter. Okay. It's a little uh, Bluetooth pulse oximeter. Uh, it's actually a very simple device. We're gonna plug it in like this, and uh, it's going to come up with a reading. Uh, my heart rate, which you can see is a little bit high. Yeah. If I'm looking right, you're making me nervous, Josh. Am I? <laughs> can I can, let's see if I can make you nervous. Uh, think about uh, think about a very exciting film, an action movie. Yeah, you're watching be more Die, nervous Die Hard with Bruce Willis. Right it's working, it's, it's working. actually working. <laughs> I wonder how high we can get this. Okay. So this little device is now transmitting to the device on the wall, the little okay, so nightlight on the wall, it, and it'll end up in the cloud, and then it'll end up on one of our, uh, our displays here that I'll show you. These this is an FDA approved device, is that what you were telling me? That's correct, it's a class one FDA listed device and so is the cloud platform. So okay. this is intentionally designed. So even the, for even the government is signing off on this stuff. A absolutely, it's part. It's meant to be part of a healthcare delivery system. This goes around the neck, right? Is this a neck? Yeah, uh, it's it preferably Can I, you try your arm or your work. leg. It, it actually works work? better if you take your clothes off. But uh, I'd rather not. <laughs> Are you propositioning me? Oh, this is actually working. I didn't think this would actually turn off. Yeah, you're actually gonna get a reading. And this is you're horrific. Gonna... Oh man, this is really tight. Is this going to wrinkle my jacket? Is this even in the right place? I can't believe you let me do that. This is probably illegal. Well, there we go. Actually, you're within normal, but you're a little high on the diastolic there. So <laughs> Is that bad? Should I be worried? I don't think so. Oh, God. One reading. This is terrible. This is always how it starts. You go in to do an interview. You put on a medical device without being allowed to, and the next thing you know, you're in the hospital. You know, you've actually made an important point here, though. <laughs> Taking one reading on any medical device, is all, that's all it is, is one reading. Right. It's trends what are important, and being able to enable folks to collect data routinely, right. trending it over time, is really where the value comes and, in. And, this, and this, this reading that I just got, this gets beamed to the cloud, it gets beamed to whatever service I have that's capturing this information, and this is something, potentially, I'm at home, I can do this whenever I want. Correct. This is my uh, blood pressure here? That's right. This is my, my dangerously high blood pressure that yes, I need they, to go to the doctor for immediately? After you take your clothes off. That's great. <laughs> and this is accessible by uh, healthcare professionals or by me? You know, it's, it's designed to support any use case that the different manufacturers want to support. So right. most of them today are looking at solutions that will have a consumer screen. Uh, a screen that could be shared with, say, caregivers that are in the home mm -hmm. or family members that are functioning as caregivers right. and with healthcare providers. All the devices I've shown you today are already in the healthcare market okay. as standalone devices. Right. What's new is getting the information off the devices, talking, talking yeah. up to the cloud, assembled together in combinations. So now we can actually look at you. Not only can we look at you around a single parameter, we can look at you around many, many parameters and we can trend it over time. Right. We can apply clinical analytics to, to that right. and essentially give you and your healthcare professional information of what, what should be done next, yeah. if anything. Very cool, very cool. Thanks again, You're really welcome. awesome stuff.